Elizabeth Rose, and in my doctoral leadership studies and other trainings, I have discovered that there's not one exact formula for being an effective leader, but rather skills of empathy, building community, being proactive, and collaboration create effective leaders. And I'm going to talk about strategies for building a proactive and win-win mindset in this video. So after watching this video, you will be able to use proactive thoughts and behaviors to approach your responsibilities and interactions and embrace a win-win mindset for expanded collaboration. You will have an opportunity for some self-reflection and case study and role play. So let's dive in. Stephen Covey wrote a book called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And these seven habits include being proactive, Begin with the end in mind, which relates to your goals and vision. Putting first things first. Think win-win. Seek first to understand and then to be understood. So remembering to listen. Synergize and sharpen the saw, which relates to self and professional development. Today I'm going to talk about be proactive and think win-win. So let's dive into the first habit. Be proactive. So what does proactive mean? The dictionary defines proactive as acting in advance to deal with expected difficulty. Stephen Covey adds that proactive means taking initiative. And why is being proactive useful? It helps us to initiate change. And that is part of what leadership is about. Proactive people control their lives, accept responsibility for their moods and actions, and focus on the things they can do something about. And you have the power to decide to be proactive or reactive in your thoughts, feelings, behaviors, habits, and in your life. So let's dive into what these thoughts and actions are. Reactive people give excuses for their behavior and say things like, this is my boss's fault or my grandmother was this way. When we think or say something like, he makes me so mad or I have to do that or I must or I can't, these indicate that something outside of you control your emotions. So whether that's a person who makes you so mad or you know people that are rules when you say they don't allow it or if you say I just don't have time for that, you're saying that these things like rules or other people or something like a resource such as your time or money are controlling your actions. Which yes, in some cases they do certainly pose restrictions on our lives, but we can choose a proactive mindset and think beyond that. We can, can choose, we can choose to say things like, I control my feelings. Let's look at our options. Let's be creative. What else can we do with our limited time and money? Instead of saying, I have to do that, say, I choose to do that because you're making a choice. If you didn't do it, maybe you wouldn't have your job and, and you, are in, you are choosing to go ahead and do that action. Um, I prefer to do something. I'm capable. I can create an alternative solution or an alternative option. Let's get creative here. Proactive people also know that they can't do everything, um, but they can do something, even if it's something small. And proactive people know that they decide their feelings and their actions. And our thoughts influence our feelings, which influence our actions, which influence our habits, and ultimately influence our lives. So now let's dive into another habit, win-win. So the fourth habit, think win-win. Dr. Stephen Covey says, when one side benefits more than the other, that's a win-lose situation. To the winner, it might look like success for a while, but in the long run, it breeds resentment and distrust. Effective leaders are people who are able to generate trust among their followers. So it's important to think win-win. And let's take a moment to imagine a situation for thinking win-win. So imagine we're planning a party. And I might start off saying, let's have this party at the beach. And a win-win mindset would respond and say, yes, and, yes, and let's have fireworks. Yes, and let's invite our friends. Yes, and let's not just invite our friends in town, but let's invite friends from across the country or from around the world. Yes, and let's have a big barbecue. 
Yes, and let's invite um, some fun animals to come. And yes, let's have a magician. And the ideas can go on and on where people feed off one another. As you say, yes, and let's have a barbecue, they may say, oh, well, I have a fantastic recipe for this. Or yes, and we must have a dessert buffet. But a win-lose mindset or a more closed mindset might say no because. When I say, let's have a party at the beach, they might say no because it's a little too cold there this time of year. And that just might shut the idea off. Or you might respond with a yes and, well, yes and, let's have a fire to stay warm. But if they say no, because you can't have fires at the beach, well, that closes it off once again. But you can continue to think creatively. Yes and, let's make sure people know to bring their warm clothes. Yes and, let's make sure to have hot chocolate and warm, um, warm food and drinks, like warm soup. And yes, let's have s'mores. And the list could go on as you're thinking expansively for this creative collaborative mindset. So people who have a win-win mindset, who are effective leaders and form community with their followers, embrace collaborative expansive mindsets that help them to be effective leaders. And remember, you are a leader. You may have formal leadership, or you may informally lead through influencing those around you and being a role model to your peers. Your habits determine your feelings. Your feelings determine your actions. Your actions determine your habits, and your habits determine your life. You have the responsibility for your thoughts, feelings, actions, habits, and your life. You can choose to control how you will react and what you will spend your time reacting to. The choices you make will impact your level of influence. Leadership is the capacity to help shape what happens next. And so let's apply your learning. Um, in choosing a proactive and win-win mindset, what is one area or situation in which using a proactive or win-win mindset would improve outcomes? So now that you have a situation or many in your mind, perhaps, um, think of that one situation and then identify one action you will commit to doing to improve your mindset over the next month. Whether that action is to start embracing a yes and mindset and pushing away the no because, or if it's to choose proactive thoughts and actions in acknowledging that you have choices and thinking about creative solutions and pushing away those reactive thoughts where you're blaming other people. Choose one thing to do this month and work on building that into a habit. And so after watching this video, hopefully you were able to, um, you are now able to use proactive thoughts and behaviors to approach your interactions and responsibilities, and to embrace a win-win mindset for expanded collaboration. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you'll watch some of the other videos on leadership and professional development.